Uh, hey there, fans. Um, I apologize for that uh, very brief, short video that got cut off. Uh, I know that looked a little bad there. Uh, sorry, I, I wasn't, um, you know, I think my webcam uh, doesn't work, so I have to use my alternative camera here. Uh, so here, here's a preview for Kansas State versus UCLA, and uh, a few thoughts on the game. Uh, what happened was that definitely there's a lot of uh, things that the Big 12 fans have said that the Can Kansas State is not that good. I've gotten a lot of word from that, even with the legendary coach Bill Snyder himself coaching. He's got a lot of junior college players on that team. A uh, few thoughts there. Uh, you know, it's not going to be a cupcake, though. I, I, don't want it, I don't want people to think of it that way as an easy cupcake. The thing we got to worry about is how we handle success, because last season, when we beat Tennessee, we got killed by BYU the week after and lost to Fresno State in our own house. I mean, it was really bad uh, last year. When we tried to, whenever we had a win, we would always counter with a big loss. So, uh, you know, we got to be able to handle success and maintain it. Can we do that? I mean, that was a huge win against Tennessee, I will admit there. Kansas State, uh, as I said, a bunch of junior college players. Uh, I think it's from the Ron Prince uh, holdovers or a bunch of Ron Prince uh, recruits that are still there. I don't know the team in depth well enough to, to talk much about them. I'm sorry if you're a K-State fan watching this. I am going to say that uh, UCLA will be without their starting quarterback. They need a, you know, Kevin Prince is out for three to four weeks. And we'll have either Kevin Kraft, who was pretty bad last year. We'll have Nick Christman, who's a redshirt freshman. Uh, also same age as Kevin Prince. And the other guy we have is Richard Brehot. And Richard Brehot is your dark horse. He's a true freshman. He enrolled in the spring, so he he does know some of the playbook, but it's there's still a lot of questions. Of, you know, I think every freshman goes through growing pains. Matt Barkley's just a special person, but Richard Brehot is the front runner right now, and we got to worry about the quarterback position. The offensive line has gotten a lot better. Uh, we were very fortunate to be winners of National Signing Day, picking up two very key offensive linemen in Stanley Hosiak and Xavier Suafilo. Those two guys have already contributed on the offensive line, and they're only true freshmen. So, yeah, that was a huge national signing day. Usually, I don't talk about recruiting classes, but that was that's huge because our running game got so much better instantly. I mean, last season we were ranked near the bottom, almost last in rushing, but now we're in the middle. We actually have a decent running game with Jonathan Franklin and Milton Knox. Still, I'd like to see Milton Knox in there more. I'd like to see them like alternate with Knox and Franklin uh, every down or, or something. Because those two, are, I think, are pretty equal for the most part. You know, uh, still a lot of questions uh, with uh, the quarterback situation. Richard Breha did take a few reps during the uh, San Diego State game, but I didn't see too much else with him. Uh, back to also the defense. Very good playing by Raheem Moore out there. We need Courtney Viney. Uh, Courtney Viney is the one that's still the weakness potentially in the secondary because Aaron Hester is still out. Viney is the short guy, but he did serve most of his job during the Tennessee game. He uh, was able to get some key stops. Also, cover. there were times they targeted him, and he was able to stop or cover well enough that Crompton couldn't throw. There were times, of course, he was caught too, so we got to be careful with Viney. Uh, defensive line, the front seven looked really solid out there. Just watching them, they stopped the run so well. Defense has been dominant for the most part. Special teams is solid with Forbeth. Made a bunch of field goals. I know he missed one, but still made enough that we won the game. And also, uh, our punter is actually not so bad either. I was watching, he actually can, he doesn't have the best accuracy, but he's got power, so. This should be a, a win, but of course, we don't know. It, obviously, last time we won games when we're supposed to lose, and we lost games that we're supposed to win. That happened a lot in 2007. I don't need to bring up the examples, but those of you who are Bruin fans remember that from 2007 season. Uh, we just we gotta we can't take these guys lightly. Okay, that that's the big fact. So I'll have a post game recap later, and I'll go Bruins.